guys, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am going to be giving you my two week long, two weeks worth of footage, I'm gonna have to edit, vlog of Believeathon. This is a middle grade readathon hosted by Gavin over from How to Train Your Gavin. I'll leave a link in the description box to his channel. Make sure you go check him out because this readathon has a lot of work put into it, and it's a really cool readathon. It's got a whole little story to it. Just go, just. Go show us, go show us, go show him some love. He's anyway. So I already filmed like my TBR clip and like uh, on Wednesday, the sixth of May, like a little less than a week ago. And I just randomly just today was like, no, you're not gonna be rereading two books. You're gonna be rereading three books that you've never read before and rereading one of them for this. So I changed my TBR. So now I have to refilm this clip. And for some reason, I just can't shut my mouth because I filmed this already twice and it's annoying me. But Alas, here I am. I'm gonna film it again. Fingers crossed it doesn't turn out bad. <laughs> so basically, there's a whole cool little map to this, and I'm gonna put the map right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But the first prompt is the Poacher's Pocket N, and that is to read the first book in a series. And for this, I picked Wonder Light, Unicorns in the Mist by R.R. Russell. Now listen, I do have a reason. This Goodreads has two books in this series, so I don't know if it's a duology or if like the third book just never got paid, like bought or whatever, but I don't know what this series is about. The reason I picked this is because not only is it the first book in the series, but I've also had it on my shelves since I was like in fourth grade because I was like a fourth grader and I was like, oh look, Unicorn and on the cover and in the title, Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. I need to pick this up. My mom bought it for me. I, like, read the first sentence, and then I put it down, and I never picked it back up. So here I am. I'm going to try and finally read this book. I want to see what it's about. I want to see if I'm going to like it. I want to see... I want to see if I should have never picked it back. I should have never... Hmm. Next prompt, I chose... The next place I... Hmm. So after I go to the inn, I'm going to be traveling to Baba Yaga's house, which is to read a book featuring a family relationship, and for that I picked Wondersmith, The Colin of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the second book in the Nevermore series. I was supposed to read this in February um, because I was doing a read-along for the series, and then I never picked it back up, but I've already read this book. I love this book. I love this series. I love this world. I love Hawthorne, my baby! And I'm going to be rereading re this because I want to reread it before I pick up Holopox in August, which I'm very excited for. Most anticipated book of the year. And I really hope it doesn't let me down because I hated Crescent City. So. The next prompt is A Hundred Acre Wood, which is to read a book with yellow on the cover. And for that, I picked Weird Little Robots by Carolyn Crimmy, which is illustrated by Corin... Corian... Corian I don't know how to say their names. I'm so, so sorry. This is a short little middle grade. It's got, like, cute little pictures in it. I can open it up. That's some, like, cute little illustrations in it. Th these girls just build robots. And it sounds so... It says two makers, five robots, and one incredible adventure. It sounds so cute. I'm excited to read it. I was originally going to have Wondersmith on this prompt because I was going to be rereading one of my old favorite books of all time um, for the previous prompt. But I was like, no, no. Let's read a book that you bought earlier this year and you should read it. So this is it, and it does have yellow on the cover, these lights, but they're more like a neon yellow, but they still count as yellow because neon yellow has yellow in it. The cover, the title, the name. Yep, that's what it is, the name. I'm then choosing transportation of the Brawly Rail to get across the way to the final prompt, and this one is to read a book featuring transportation or has transportation on the cover. And for this, I am re-picking, I'm doubling up with Wondersmith. This has a car on the cover, you see it? Cars of Transportation. I'm picking this because I want to double up because I'm, I'm, if I can read three books in a week, I'm going to be so proud of myself, so yeah. But also, I like this because it has, the first sentence in this book features the Brawly Rail, which says Morgan Crow Love from the Brawly Rail. So, um, it's perfect, okay? It's perfect. 
And then the final prompt is the bookkeeper stronghold. And this is to read the next book in a series. And I've already started this book. I'm already um, about 60% through this book, and that is Keeper of the Last Cities, book three, Everblaze by Shannon Messenger. This, if you follow me on Goodreads, which you totally should link in the description box, my granny and I are currently in the middle of buddy reading this series together. I've never read it, she's never read it. We're buddy reading it. Granted, this book looks horrible on my shelf but next to the other ones because it's so much taller than them. Nonetheless, yeah, so we've already started this, and today, um, since today is the first day of the readathon, I'm starting on this readathon with this many pages left right there. It's, I don't. It's like 400. No, well, it's like 200 and like two pages. I think I don't really know. And I'm on page 397 of this, but I've already read a little bit today, and I'm now on page 427. So yes, final book. And I'm going to finish this definitely. If I'm going to finish any of these books, this is definitely what I'm going to finish because we'll probably end up finishing it. Like this weekend? No, we'll finish before this weekend. Haha. <laughs> but this is well, okay. Wow. Thank you, weird little robots. You just had to throw yourselves. This is my. God. Dang it. Okay, we'll try it again. This is my TBR for Believeathon. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. Anyways, I'm going to go read because I've tried to film this. Um, a lot. It's now like almost been 10 minutes of me trying to film this for the third time. <laughs> I've been, I've wasted so much time I could have spent reading. Anyway, I'm gonna go read this right now and I will pick, I'll see you guys later tonight. Definitely will. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bye. If you're wondering why you're always like so far over here, it's because my bed's a mess and I don't want to clean it. Anyway, it is now the 12th of May and I want to talk about what I read yesterday. Because I did start one dot, like I said yesterday, and I was filming my, like, the first clip of this video. I did start this, and I ended up getting 38 pages into it, and it's enjoyable. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it right now, so we'll have to see, like, when I get further into it. I'm only 38 pages into it, but, um, yeah. And then I ended up reading 62 pages of Everblaze yesterday, and I've already started reading today, so that's why I'm filming this clip. I ended up reading 102 pages yesterday, and my daily word count, or nope, page count, my daily page count for how many word pages I need to read a day to finish my TBR, huh? Okay, how many pages I need to read a day so I can complete my TBR is 95, and that was when I had a different book on here, except besides Weird Little Robots, so I think it's probably a little bit lower. But hey, 102, that's fantastic. But I'm gonna go read now. I'm gonna go read more of Everblaze. And I will see you guys later today, maybe tomorrow. I don't really know. Maybe I'll just pick back up when I finally finish a book. But we'll have to see. My granny, my mom did buy the fourth book of this book for me and my granny, so... That's also going to be added to my TBR, but there's no way we're going to read it in two weeks. Actually, there might be a way we're going to read it in a week. Oh my god, I don't know what's going to happen. My TBR might go out the window. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go read. I love you. See you in a second. What the heck am I saying?
it's the end of day 12, um, day 12, <laughs> it's the end of the 12th, well, it's not exactly the end, okay, okay, so it's later in the day, and I've read for, I think I read as much as I'm going to read today, I might read a little bit more in Wonderlight, but I think I've read as much as I'm going to read today, and definitely read all I'm going to read in Everblaze, and as you can see, as you saw, I was crying, I was emotional, uh, I, like, it wasn't, like, sad, like, crying sad, it was angry sad, like, I should have been yelling, and I did do that, but I was crying, and I think, because of that, this book earns five stars, haven't finished it yet, though, so I'll actually tell you tomorrow, because we'll finish it tomorrow, I'll give you my official thoughts on this book tomorrow, and then Wonderlight, this little book here, um, look at that, oh, wow, I'm on page 107, and I like this book. Um, it's like, I, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm surprised that I'm enjoying this book, but I am. I don't think the main character, Twig, is annoying. Um, we finally, like, we just met the unicorns, and we got to meet Mr. Ghost Boy, and that's pretty exciting. And, yeah, so I am enjoying this book. And, um, that's all I want to say for today. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I have changed shirts because I had that, I've worn that shirt for, like, an entire week, you know? So I had to go in the wash. So I changed shirts. Um, don't expect me to have a different shirt on tomorrow. It will still be my Kevin Hart shirt because it's clean, so, hmm. Bye. Hi, it's the 13th. It's the third day of this beautiful readathon, and I've already finished a book. Uh, I mean, I was, a I was already 200 pages into this, but I finished this book, and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I like this more than the second one, but I don't know if I like it as much as I liked the first one. Also, I got the fourth one. I will show you how horrendous it looks on my shelf in a second, okay? So basically... I ended up giving this four stars, and it's a third book in the Keeper of the Lost City series, which is basically, the first book is about Sophie, who grew up in a human world, but finds out that she's actually an elf, and that's why she has these telepathy powers, and she basically is whisked, 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 is that the right word? Off to the Lost Cities, and stuff gets uncovered, and we meet the Fantastic Dex, which, by the way, in this book... He got hated on, and I kind of stopped preaching hashtag Dex deserves better, and now I'm like, oh, okay. But, mm, anyway, so Dex was my favorite character, but now Keefe's my favorite character, and I ship, I ship Keefe and Sophie so hard, okay? I'm definitely a Kofi fan. Seafy? I don't know. Anyway, I ended up giving this four out of five stars because I am... I was like, at the, I was, I couldn't give it five out of five just because at the beginning of the book I was so like, I don't know if I like this or if I feel about it like I did the second book, and then I started crying um, yesterday, so I was like, all right, it's gonna be a five star. But then I was rating it, I was going to rate it today, and I was like, it just can't be a five because of how like apprehensive I was at the beginning of this book. So four out of five, my granny I don't hasn't like finished it yet, I don't think. We haven't talked about it yet. But I got the fourth book, so let's put this book on my shelf and let me show you how horrendous this series looks together. Okay, so these are the first two books and this is the third book and you might be able to tell just by looking at it the differences in the types of paperbacks there are. I don't know. You tell me. But let me show you how ugly this looks. Why? Why? <laughs> Why do this? Why do this? Because, like, if I want my shelves to descend from height and you're gonna give me that, how am I supposed to work with that? Like, if this book was like this one and this one, it'd be fine. Or, if this book was like this, it'd be fine. But they go like that. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, I've just been working on my Spanish midterm, which I have to make a menu, and <laughs> it's called Bacon Snack! Ah! Because, like, Bacon Snack is like a plan. I like it. I like it. Anyway, so, I haven't read any of 
this today, but I do want to read some. I did end up reading an extra chapter last night, so now I'm on page 114. But I'm hoping to get to at least 150 of this book today. I would like a little bit more, but we're going to have to see how that works. And, yeah, I'm going to probably go make my mom some water. And then when she ever she gets home, she's going to give me the photos she brushed it off. Because I have to have photos for this. So... That's that, and then I will read some of this tonight. But started the readathon off good. I've already finished one of the prompts, even though technically I already started it. Um, I should finish this either today or tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll find out. So I got a package in the mail. It's from Amazon. It's supposed to have two books because yesterday I already got I got Never Seen, and I asked my mom to buy me two. Uh, more books that I've been wanting to read, and she graciously did so. So, let me show you them once I can get this thing off without it sticking to my fingers. So, there's actually a hole in it. There it is. See, there's like there's a hole right here, and there's a hole right there. Okay, I'm scared that I didn't get the right copy of this book because, like, it's so skinny. Oh, but it's 500 pages, so it has to be. The does this look like a 500-page book to you? Because I don't think it does. But this is the first book I got. I got The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong. If you watched my All Stars video, then you would know that this is a book that I really want to read. It's super popular. Um, it's like a Chi- it's a- it's like a fantasy book based on like Chinese, like history I think is what it is. I don't really know what it's about, but apparently it's over 500 pages, granted it doesn't look like it is. So I got this and I got an orange cover, like isn't it? I think I like the white cover better, but this is the one I saw on Amazon. I don't know, I kinda like this one. I don't know, maybe if I like it I'll ask for another copy but so it'll be a white copy. And then I also got this middle grade book! Ivy Aberdeen's Letters to the World by Ashley Herring Blake. I got this. It I got it because in June, um, somebody, I don't remember, is doing a detective thon readathon, and this is the buddy read, and I really want to read this book because it sounds so cute. But it's like a contemporary middle grade. And I'm not really like a contemporary fan, but I do think I'm gonna like this. I'm hoping I'm gonna cry. I hope out of one of these books I'm going to cry and sob. And granted, I might. Just because Everblaze, I was sobbing when it didn't like the reaction didn't really call for sobbing. But I'm super excited for both of these books. And uh yeah. So thanks for a little book haul. I haven't read anything today, but uh Granny and I hopefully are gonna get her copy of Never Seen and we'll start this, even though it's not on like TBR, it's fine. And I hope I'm going to read some of Wonderlight. But granted, I went outside to get these and it was it's kind of nice outside. It's not super hot, but I do want to go outside and read after I finish school, so we shall see. But, yeah, I'm super excited that I have these now, and I really want to read Poppy War, because I really want to. Hmm. Today is the 16th of May. Hey guys, so I didn't update you yesterday, and please ignore my me my messy desk. I got a bunch of tissues on there. It's a mess. Ignore it, please. Um, but basically, I didn't update you yesterday because I didn't read anything yesterday. I think I read like 15 pages of Never Seen, and I'm really not enjoying this book very much, so that kind of sucks. But um, I didn't read anything from Wonderlight yesterday. My plan was to finish the book yesterday. I guess I read like 18 pages of it in the morning, but like I didn't update you guys on that. Um, but I finished it today, and I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. Like halfway through, I was thinking I was going to give this like a 5 out of 5 stars. And I was like, can I really give this book 5 out of 5 stars? But I don't have to worry about whether or not I could have given it 5 out of 5, because I ended up giving it a 3. And basically, I ended up giving it a 3 just because I didn't like the last like like 88 pages i really like when he, i was like really enjoying it up to halfway and then i don't know what happened but somewhere 
while I was reading this, I just like shifted from enjoyment enjoying it to it's a bur it's a burden and I just want to be done with it. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know what happened, but um yeah. So when it came down to almost being done with this book, I just really wanted to be done with it. And so like the last like 70 pages, I was just like skipping the dialogue. I was like, where's the dialogue? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Like I just really wasn't enjoying this. Um, as much as I was at the beginning of this, of my reading experience. But basically, this is about a girl named Twig. Um, her actual name, you find out at the end of the book, like on the, like, the last, like, two pages, like, you find out what her actual name is, which is like, okay. Um, but Twig is sent to this island by her stepmother for, like, misbehaved girls. I think it's called the Island Ranch. It has an actual name, but I don't know what it's actually called. I just remember the Island Ranch very vividly. But basically... She is sent to this island ranch, and there she is supposed to take care of, like, ponies and stuff like that. And while she's there, like, like early in the book, like, on her, like, first night there, um, she sees, um, a unicorn, but she doesn't know it's a unicorn. And basically, the unicorn gives birth to a little filly, because I learned that. And this filly is Wonderlight. So basically, this unicorn comes into the stable and she also ends up meeting Ben like the next night or whatever and Ben is saying asking Twig to help her because there's something in the woods that is hunting down unicorns more specifically Ben's unicorn and Wonderlight this unicorn right here um one thing is Wonderlight did not become the unicorn's name until like the last like 50 pages and that really makes me mad I don't know like why did the, why did the unicorn have so many names like when it was first born it was wild one but then you change it to wild light I got used to wild light and then you changed it to wonder light one and a half years into her existence why would you do that that'd be like having a child and naming it like Ariel and then changing it to Sebastian when it's two years old like why why would you do that? I don't know. That's a little annoying. But yeah, I ended up giving it 3 out of 5 stars. I don't think I'm going to be reading the sequel, um, but I guess we'll have to find out. But I don't have any interest in it at the moment. Um, and I started Weird Little Robots. I'm like, look how cute this hardcover is. Super cute. I'm only uh, 12 pages in. I'm only on chapter 2. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to read this. I'm going to try and read it this entire weekend. And I think I'll be able to because, like, every two pages, there's illustrations. And, um, yeah. But that's all I have to update you guys on. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I have something to update you on. And maybe I'll look decent. Maybe I'll actually look presentable because I don't because I went for a run yesterday with a friend and um, I planned on going for a 2.69 mile run and we ended up going for a 3.3 mile run and now I can barely get up from my messy desk to go downstairs and get some water. My legs hurt so bad. Okay, so that's bugging me. Okay, so it is the 18th and I have like six days up in the street though, I think. Um, let me go get my books, because I don't Okay. Um, well, let's see. Um, is anybody surprised that I'm failing the GBR I had planned? Because I'm not. I really gotta, like, find one book that fits all prompts, because I have a more higher chance of actually doing what I said I was going to do. But, I read, like, three pages of Mistborn, because I wanted to, and that's that. Let's see, what page of Weird Little Robots am I on? I'm on page 46. It's kind of slow. I mean, I'm only on page 46, but it's kind of slow for a 246 page book. Is it 246? Because it's like, what? Four? No, it's 34, I think. But, yeah, so this is kind of slow, but that's that. And then, oh, look, this wasn't on my TBR, but... I think I might finish this one. Oh, I'm on page 253, and um, it's finally kind of getting good, you know? 37% into this book, and it's just now getting good. <laughs> Great. Love that for me. But, um, yeah, so I want to read more of this, and uh, I can't. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, and we got to go all the way to Fort Collins to go there because it's a gum appointment. 
because there's like a high chance I'm going to have to get my gums grafted and they're going to go to a constellation. Is that what it's called? Around constellations like when somebody dies and you go to their house and give them foods. I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to do an update even though I have like nothing to update you on. But this is the book I'm enjoying the most which is saying something because it's really boring and it's just not getting good. But that's because something I've been waiting to happen for two books for 1,200 pages is finally happening now. So that's that. And uh, yeah. Anyway, um, good night. I might pick back up like in four days. I don't know what I'm pick up. <laughs> Bye. Hi. So basically, Believe a Thon ended like two weeks ago or something, and I'm just now getting around to editing this vlog. And that was the last clip I actually have that I filmed. So I never came back and talked to you about what I was reading because I started watching Arrow. I think that Thursday. I think. I started watching Arrow, and so the rest of believe -a -thon, I spent watching Arrow. I watched five seasons of Arrow in one week, okay? So, give me some credit. But, I will talk about the books that I've already mentioned in this vlog. I didn't end up finishing Weird Little Robots. I put it down. But, Wonderlight, I've already talked about, and I ended up giving this three out of five stars. I don't think I'm going to be picking up the sequel. Um, just because I'm not really, I don't really care. Um, and then I also ended up reading uh, Everblaze. This book feels so weird in my hands because I've been holding all the other books in the series. Not this one, and they are completely different. But I ended up finishing this, the first week of believe -a -thon, and I gave it four out of five stars. I really, really liked it. And um, all thing I don't like about it is the type of book it is. And then the last book I ended up reading... I think I finished a few days after Billy with Thon ended. I don't really know. And I gave this book, are you ready? Two out of five stars. This thing is horrible and I did not like it. It was so informational. But that's all I'm going to say about those books until the uh, bi-monthly wrap-up that I do. So look out for that. It will be coming at the end of June. Actually, it might be a little late because update on the doctor's appointment. I have a surgery now for my gums and... um. There's a it's, a, it's near the end of the month, and, um, well, here's the thing, I might not be able to talk, I don't know how long I'm gonna have to, like, stay, s I don't know, I don't know how long it's gonna take until I feel comfortable talking again, because, um, it's probably gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt a lot, I have a lot of medicine down there, because I can't take pills, because narcotics are in the shape of pills, and they're addictive, and I am not a fan of those, so I forced myself to say, whoa, you don't take pills, and so now, I can't even take something if I have a migraine. What are those called? I don't know, can't take it, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it wasn't very good. I know I haven't been posting on YouTube a lot, but I do have a bookshelf tour coming soon because somebody asked for it. So I got to clean my bookshelf because it's a mess. But I will be doing a bookshelf tour soon because somebody asked for it. So that was very exciting. And I also will be doing another video that I don't know what it's about. I don't remember it at the moment. But, oh, mid-year book freak out tag. I will be posting a video. I'll be posting a mid-year book freak out freak huh? Wow. I'll be posting a mid-year book freak out tag as well um, sometime this month as well. They might just become back, 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 but I would like to try and make it to where I can film a video for my uh, surgery so I don't have to like worry about that. But also, I don't know what I'm going to film for that, so I guess we'll find out and whatever. I might make a video on my surgery if you guys are interested in that. I don't know. I'm going to go because I'm talking and I'd like to do this video exporting so I can watch some Supergirl because I started that. I have five seasons into The Flash, seven seasons, almost eight into Arrow, um, but Arrow sucks right now, so, you know. And I'm uh, half an episode into GC Legends of Tomorrow and I'm halfway through the first season of Supergirl at the moment. By the time you see this, God knows where I'm going to be. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to go. Bye. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I have videos on this channel every Monday, usually, but I haven't been posting that regularly, but I have videos coming out soon that I plan to film and edit. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later for another video. Bye, guys, and hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 I keep looking at myself. That's not good. Bye.